what's up YouTube this is Cody here with iPhonehacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use airdrop on iOS 7 now it's good to mention that the airdrop only works between the iPhone 5s 5c 5 iPad 4 iPad mini and the iPod touch 5 no other devices are supported so what airdrop actually does is allow you to quickly transfer files between iOS devices without the need of a Wi-Fi network Airdrop creates an ad hoc Wi-Fi network between the iOS devices and doesn't need any type of configuration other than enabling it. Now unfortunately you won't be able to use this feature from an iOS device to a Mac and vice versa, but hopefully this will come in the future. Now Airdrop is going to work on any app that has a share panel, so it's going to work with photos, videos, Safari, Apple Maps, contacts, and so on. And just so you know what a share panel is let me just tap on a photo here this is what the share panel is right there so if you tap on that then you're gonna get this little airdrop right here so what we want to do is go ahead and enable our airdrop here we're gonna do it on both devices so you just open up your control center here and you're gonna tap on airdrop now obviously you have an off option and you have contact only which obviously means you're only gonna be visible to your contacts and you can only connect to your contacts and here is everyone so you're going to be visible to everyone and you will be able to be connected to anyone but it's going to give you a prompt and tell you hey this person's trying to connect to you do you want them to connect and then you can accept or cancel it so what we're going to do is we're going to tap everyone and we're going to do the same thing on the 5s here and now we're going to go ahead and you'll notice when I did that it actually enabled the Bluetooth right there as well as the Wi-Fi. I already had Wi-Fi on but it does that as well. Alright so let's go ahead and share a photo. So we're gonna tap on the photos here and we'll just share this photo right here. So we'll tap on the share panel and I should automatically populate right here in just a second or this phone should automatically populate. There I am. So we're gonna tap on that and then it says you get a little pop-up that says so-and-so would like to share a photo. You can decline or accept. So I'm just going to tap accept and it should automatically launch your photos app since this is a photo and present that photo to you that was just sent so that's basically how airdrop works it's really simple there's not a lot to configure all you have to do is make sure that you are discoverable and the devices ios devices that i mentioned earlier will be able to see you and transfer files to you seamlessly so let me know what you guys think about the new ios airdrop feature are you guys going to be using it often let me know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Alright guys, until next time, this is Cody with iPhoneHacks.com.